my my biggest thing was being in those relationships um, because I didn't fool around with anyone else or uh, you know try to sabotage or self sabotage those relationships. That was the biggest thing that made me feel like I could never take those people back or be open to being in a relationship with them again because I gave you my all, I gave you my best and you basically took it and threw it in the trash so for me I can never take you back yeah but you know, as as men as men and, and, and I'm speaking for myself um, mostly when I say this as men just because we're not cheating um doesn't mean that we're giving our all um just because sometimes we think we're not self sabotaging relationship doesn't mean that we aren't again i i can speak for me it was situations where <clears throat> I, i'll go back to um and i think i told you well no i was talking to my roommate about this situation but I, i'll throw it out there so back in mm -hmm. i want to say 2015 all right, so I when did I leave my last wife? I left her 2004, 2015. But in either case, 2015, I started seeing this chick. Um, and it started out how we was talking. It was just, hey, it was a thing. Me and her were seeing each other, whatever, whatever, whatever. I told myself, hey, this is a fun thing. I'm not getting caught up, blah, blah, blah. That's what it was. Um <clears throat> And I'm just going to speak from, from where I stood in. I'm not going to speak for whatever part she played in it. Um, right. I ended up, like, she came over one time. It was We did our thing, whatever. And then she happened to come over again. And then it happened to be where she was always at my crib. <clears throat> and I didn't, I didn't change it. I didn't be like, yo... Nah, we're not rocking like this. I let it go. I let it go. I let it go. I let it go. All the while, I'm telling myself, I'm good. I'm not getting caught up, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm still doing me. But it got to the point where I started having feelings for this chick. And having the conversation with her that, yeah, we together, we this, we that, blah, blah, blah. But again, all the while, I had one foot in the streets. Matter of fact, I had a foot and a half in the streets. And, you know, <laughs> I was claiming, you know, oh, I love you and this and that and, and putting, you know, taking pictures with her, posting on Facebook and this, that and the other as if it was really me and her like that. Um, right. And when I was around her, I played the role. Um, but I never let my fun things go. I still had my fun things. I still right. had a I still had a line in the water. Um and then when my attitude did not adopt to the situation, it showed in my behavior towards her. Um <clears throat> I was not I was not that same uh loving, soft hearted person that I was when I started to fall for her. When I quote unquote, let those walls down a little bit. Um, and then when things really started hitting the fan, I was that angry dude. I had everything to blame her for, but I still was doing dirt. Um, it, it got, it got to the point to where one time, like something happened to her phone and I had an extra phone. I gave it to her, let to, for her to use. And I didn't even log out of my Facebook messenger out of that phone. And like chicks were sending me messages and stuff and, and she was getting the messages. I got caught up with that. She still uh -huh. stuck around <clears throat> again. I'm not going to speak for whatever she was doing on her end. I'm saying what I was doing. Um, so things kept right. going. Things kept going. I ended up, my lease was ending and I, I, I played the role so diligently that I was like, yo, my lease is up. I'm going to go to the rental office, get a two-bedroom, no, a three-bedroom, 
was it a two bedroom? It was two bedroom. Yeah, two bedroom. Get a two bedroom and we do this and we do that and blah, blah, blah. And I still.